How should we deal with public emotions concerning risky technologies such as shale gas? What is a morally just solution to global warming? How can we produce nuclear energy in a way that is just for both the present and future generations? As the answer to these questions seems simple from one person's perspective, it is not always as easily answered as one might think. The, the issue is with new technology is, is that it not only needs to satisfy our functional requirements, but it needs to satisfy our societal and moral and legal requirements. And this is quite unusual because engineers traditionally have not been trained to, to do that. New technologies contribute to human well-being, but they may also introduce considerable risks to humans, the environment, and future generations. So this take on, on innovation um, allows us to move beyond uh, kind of a stalemate in the position between people who are favoring the new technology or people who are opposed to the new technology. It's a way of moving beyond that. It's coming up with transforming the world and, and so it, it, it allows us to have our cake and eat it. During the course we will deal with the following topics. Personalized health, food safety, smart cities, sustainable and efficient energy, smart waste management, digital security and disaster resilience. The, the goal of this MOOC is to introduce uh, students to the, the best knowledge that, uh, that is available uh, in, in this field and it's a growing field and it's a rapidly growing field. One relativizing uh, remark about responsible innovation is, is that these, these wonderful and miraculous s solutions where you can accommodate uh, all of those values, both economic growth and sustainability and safety and accountability in one fell swoop, there is no guarantee that there are these miraculous solutions. But in any case, what you can say is that we have a responsibility to explore whether they are, and this cannot be escaped. Do you have the right motivation for responsible innovation?